A smartwatch is essentially a computer that you wear on your wrist. Generally these days they connect to a phone. They offer things like touchscreens, Bluetooth connectivity, SIM cards for standalone use, GPS, heart rate monitors and more. The Kickstarter project Pebble started a surge of popularity for smartwatches. Many consider it to be the first, but they have actually been around since the 1980s. In this video we're going to delve into the past to see how smartwatches have evolved. In 1981, Nelsonic Industries created a game watch. This was essentially a portable games console worn on the wrist. The first one released had a game called Space Attacker. There were several more released in the years to come, including games like Pac-Man, Super Mario, The Legend of Zelda, Ghostbusters, Tetris, and Donkey Kong. In 1983, Casio released the Casio Data Bank, this allowed data storage for names, telephone numbers, memos, and in later editions, email addresses. It was also usable as a calculator, in addition to the standard features of a digital watch. Neither of these watches were able to interface with other devices, such as a computer or phone. The first watch that was able to communicate with a computer was the Seiko RC1000 wrist terminal. This was released in 1984 and developed by Seiko Epson. It was compatible with most computers of the time, including Apple, Commodore, IBM, NEC, and Tandy color computer. Lacking Bluetooth, this watch connected using a cable. Next came the Timex Datalink in 1994. This was the first watch to offer a wireless communication method with a computer. Applications and contacts created within Microsoft Schedule, a previous version of Outlook, could be transmitted to the watch via a screen blinking light protocol. The first Linux smartwatch was developed by Steve Mann in 1998. He was named the father of wearable computing. Also developed in 1998 was the Reputer by Seiko. This was a smartwatch without touchscreen and instead offered a tiny eight direction joystick and six function buttons. It offered serial interface and an IR port for communicating with other devices. Two high-powered watch batteries would last only 30 hours. This watch was programmable with C. This watch is sometimes considered the first smartwatch since it was the first watch to offer graphics display, although monochrome, and many third-party applications, which were mostly homebrew. In 1999, Samsung launched the world's first watch phone the SPH WP10. It had a protruding antenna, a monochrome LCD screen, and 90 minutes of talk time with an integrated speaker and microphone. This did not connect to a phone, but instead had its own SIM card. In September 2000, IBM and Citizen Watch Co. grouped together to launch the WatchPad. The WatchPad featured a monochrome display and ran Linux 2.4. It featured calendar software, Bluetooth, 8 megabytes of RAM and 16 megabytes of flash memory. It was aimed towards the students and businessmen market with a retail price of $399. It featured a rotating bezel for data input and synchronized via a serial cable. It could also be loaded with custom watch faces. In 2003, Fossil released the Wrist PDA. This watch ran the Palm OS, so it was very similar to a PDA device that you would use like a phone. It contained a built-in stylus to help use the tiny display. Although many reviewers declared the watch revolutionary, it was criticised for its weight and size and was discontinued in 2005. In 2004, Microsoft announced the Spot smartwatch. Spot, Smart Personal Object Technology, was an initiative by Microsoft to personalise household electronics and other everyday gadgets. The device was a standalone smartwatch that offered information at a glance where other devices would have required more immersion and interaction. The information included weather, news, stock prices and sports scores transmitted through FM radio waves. It was accessible through a yearly subscription that cost $39 to $59. Fossil, Sunto and Tissot also sold smartwatches running Spot technology. The MBW100 was created by Sony Ericsson and Fossils. This was the first smartwatch that connected to phones via Bluetooth. It notified of users when receiving calls and text messages, although it was not popular as it would only work with Sony Ericsson phones. In 2009, 
the Berg watch was released, which was a standalone smartphone watch, which had its own SIM card and did not require to be tethered to a smartphone. Shortly after, Samsung launched the S9 110 phone watch, which featured a 1.76 inch colour LCD display. In 2010, Sony Ericsson learned from their mistake and produced a watch, the Sony Ericsson Live View, which was connectable to any Android smartphone. Motorola joined the market in 2011 with the Moto Active. This was aimed at the fitness market and contained many fitness related features such as GPS, an MP3 player that had a DJ mode that would customise the music dynamically to the workout and was also connectable to various other fitness technologies such as bike sensors or foot pods. Similar to watches from today, it also contained an accelerometer to measure the number of steps. With the Pebble Watch being released in 2012 and increasing popularity with smartwatches, other manufacturers were spurred on to creating their own, such as Samsung, Apple, Asus and more. Throughout the 90s, Cassie also created a selection of watches with various different features, including a remote control for your TV, a Muslim prayer calculator, a vibrate upon the detection of a caller, a laser thermometer, a UV sensor, multiplayer games watches, GPS, a recorder, and MP3. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you really enjoyed it, share with your friends.